Yes, fellow mobile gaming fanatics, wildest loads up. I'm my time. It's my NBA 2K17, and I sound a bit happier for absolutely no reason. So, let's get into it. Boom, Steph Curry. Successful purchase. Du, 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 du. Let's go collect that. Whoop. Thank you very much. In you come. And why did we do that? Well, let's just start the video on that note. Once again, guys, you will see if I come up here and I go legendary. In fact, that was a bad. That was a, that was a very, 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 very bad click. Duplicates is easier. Boom. Three Steph Curry's. Just pulled him off the board. Had one already in the storage. So we will go train this guy up. Pro him out with that vet contract. And should be another 45, 50,000 RP. Which we need at the moment. Because our RP has been depleted. Now I can't show you up here. Because let's just come get a steady picker. Because I've used both of my goals. Got them finished now. But after that card I'm about 38,000 I think. Somewhere around there. 35,000 okay. So we need to start working on getting some RP, but, 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 there is some good news moving forward, should we say. Not with my season, because I entered the season for some reason and like, literally played nothing towards it, so it's not really a true reflection. I didn't energise, I kind of did it, and then I realised, hey, you know what, I don't actually want to be getting the energy, I want to be keep getting cars, because I had a lot of cars to train up. And I kind of just neglected that. So waiting for that to finish, we'll enter another one tonight. And hopefully in a couple of days, we'll have to show you something better from a season perspective. But from an actual deck perspective now, there has been some big strides, okay? And i just like to show you that. And just to show you guys that I am trying to grind. And I am trying to get myself into a position where people look and go, Hey, you know, you do have a good deck. You do play the game kind of thing rather than just being a casual pick up the game for five minutes and then put it back down youtuber well john wall still the only star event card i had now i did try people i did try for that uh the marcus orwich and quarry leonard card however my team is still too many people shy to get the top reward okay and we'll come and show you in a moment i can't show you rewards but i can kind of show you what i've got to i've got the first the marcus orwich okay but I need more star pros to be able to push in and get the event card in road to the championship. Now, hopefully, the next time the event comes around, I will be in a position to get at least one of the star cards. But there's no point going for one. Oh, sorry, the event star cards. That is. There's no point going for one. You've got to go for both or neither. It's a waste of time and effort just to get the one because it's going to do nothing to your deck if you are in star tier. So, let's look. What I have done is I have expanded. So, I do have Andrew Wiggins now. Nicely set up, pretty, pretty decent. Okay, it's got the specs on him. Nice card, dual position. We've got Chris Paul here. We have got Dwight Howard, and we have got Michael Finley. Now I have got the Greek freak, look at the Greek freak, the Greek freak, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo here, and I pull, I've pulled him three times now, and this time I decided to keep him, get two duplicates. Veteran contract, all these pros, okay, now that I'm talking about, have all been done for that vet contract. He will be auctionable in the future. Uh, okay, I've got maybe a bit of luck in the, spe the specialisation. Loved it in playmaking instead, but we don't worry about that. It's fine. He'll still sell for a reasonable amount. That's another star pro. We also have Bernie King here, which was up from before. Once again, veteran contracts, made him into a pro. Kept him. Keep him. It'll be auctionable, so he's got use for the moment value in my seasons have value in the next road to the championship and he is auctionable we come across again paul george now boom went and bought two of him got one for i think about sixty nine thousand, and then i think i paid 78 or something for one uh, i was trying to get some cheap but i actually got him maybe maybe spending a little bit more on some of these cars than i would have because i was trying to get a number of pros to see if i could get myself into that quality lender car but then i realized in the second of marcus aldridge card that I could have got that. I could have got the second Lamarcus Aldridge card, but I knew as soon as I went up into that Leonard card, it was game over with the number of uh, star cards I had. But we got that Paul George. I'm pretty, pretty happy to get. Not put any hearts on him yet. What about in future? Dual position, small four, powerful, boom. And on top of that as well, we do have another, yes, bang. Danny Manning is still here. Danny Manning, we ended up proing again, getting him, putting him up. Power forward, 
auction a ball once again, going into that auction house, selling some of my single star cards, which I had pulled. Uh, I did sell one of my Genesis, for example, to raise funds for these, and I've been selling a lot of my single legendary cards and ultra rare cards constantly coming in, trying to pull up some pros to be able to give myself a chance. I said in that road to championship, but we didn't get it. But there we go. Not to worry about the stuff down here. You know, we've got nothing auctionable. Oh, no, sorry, Elgin Baylor. My bad, Elgin Baylor. Next one I'm looking for. I'm trying to purchase a couple of him off of the auction house if we can, unless I pull something better in the near future. Not spending the 85, 90,000 he's kind of going at, at the moment too much. We want to keep it below the 80,000, around 70, 65 to 75 for star singles, kind of what I'm really willing to pay at this moment in time because I want to try and get something back off of them in the future. But yeah, I think that's eight, is it? One, two, three, four, and no, that's nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine star pros now. So I think it's fair to say the team is coming along. I mean, in terms of a season, I only need six more to fill out my season of all star pros. And if I can continue just using the auction house, selling my cards and stuff, we will get there pretty soon. Now, in terms of cards, a few people have said, why have I not bought some packs? I've got to get some more star cards and be able to actually, um, actually, you know, get cards which I can then pro with my star contracts and stuff. Well, if we look here, for example, at this Rookie Star Plus pack, uh, you do get, option for to get a four player epic to star rating well you know what i'm not really going to spend three thousand credits on a pack where it might get me an epic card so we will give that that pack a miss and if i go just to general rookie stars ultra rare to star well i did try this and i got nothing above to get two super rares i think when i tried them before so yeah packs Sorry guys, at the moment I do want to do packs because I understand packs are fun and I enjoy opening packs and you guys enjoy probably seeing pack openings as well. But at this moment in time, I think I'll probably prefer to save and do a, like a mega monster pack opening around playoff tier rather than to just keep doing little ones at the moment on kind of packs that don't really help. My credits, and I say the same thing to you guys, is in my opinion much better off to be invested in the auction house, sell your cards, do what you can, even if they don't get sold, it's not the end of the world, guys. They don't get sold, they come back, try them again, you get your credits back. Try and sell some cards, see what you can get for them. Use that RP to then go out, buy those pros you need, buy those single cards you need. Get cards that will actually help you now, rather than getting packs where potentially you're going to be left with a few random cards that you either don't need or you didn't want. So, that's where we are. I'm actually going to be playing again during this week, guys. I'm going to try and get myself some more picks from blacktop next event comes up we'll see how we can do now rivals clash yeah i am going to be honest everyone rivals clash is difficult for me because of working and stuff i have to put a lot of time i will see i will see if if the rewards are quite good um i don't have a lot of rp at the moment as you can see oops didn't mean to go back that far back Thirty-five thousand rp isn't enough for rivals clash because you're going to need to be using hot streaks and you're going to need to be playing pretty consistently. So I'm going to want about 120 odd thousand RP to be able to invest in the event if I want to try and get one of those event cards. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure I can do that this weekend. But, but, I will let you know. And if it looks possible, guys, I will try. Okay, I will. I promise you. If not, then we'll go for it in the next two events, maybe get the next King of the Court and the next Road to the Championship and try and get a couple of star event pros from those. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll be my time. If you have liked the video, let me know below. If you think that there's anything I can do to improve my team, please let me know. As I said, at the moment, I'm just trying to grind out some of those resets, try and get a few more star cards and just try and make a whole team of star pros, auctionable star pros. Okay, that's the key and that will be more um, evident as we progress and get closer towards April. Thank you for watching everyone, I've been my time, peace out, enjoy your week.